I keep telling you people that strange women in ponds distributing swords is no basis for determining leadership. Who oh, don't See, listen if to Pedro, If Pedro like came out of a pond and lobbed a scimitar at me, I don't think I would con- consider myself the king of Albion. But you could <laughs> maybe give it a try in Albion Online. It's from Sandbox Interactive GM Buch. It's developed on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for um, if you're in the UK, twenty one ninety five. You're in the US, thirty bucks. If you're in Canada, forty dollars. Uh, what is it? Albion Online is a fantasy sandbox memorpica featuring a player driven economy, classless combat system, and intense PvP val- battles. Explore a vast open world of danger and opportunity. Grow your wheel, forge alliances, and leave your mark on the world of Albion. So uh, Pennywise bought us some uh, copies of this because he. Uh, was feeling particularly generous, so uh, we mm-hmm. decided to take a crack at it this week. This is the Cherokee Way Edition. This is where we take a game, we uh, play it for a little while, talk about it, maybe do a little bit of quality assurance that the uh, developer should have done before making it an actual paid product, and then giving a recommendation whether you should buy or not, based on everyone's favorite bit of furniture, flamingos. No, I'm talking about lawn chairs. One chair means that it's garbage. Two chairs means that it's meh. Two chairs means that it's pretty good. Four chairs means that it's awesome. And we apply it to our categories of doom, mixed with the working, shiny sounds, controls, and fun. So let's kick this off. Ven, how, how, tell, tell us about your, your wonderful adventure getting this game working. Hey, man, I'm going to get in and out, and then I'm going to fuck around for the rest of this segment because I don't have much to contribute. Uh, listen, I tried to play it. I did. And... Well, it it didn't work because I'm using uh, one of those edgy, hot new distributions that all the kids are into. It's rolling release, and no, I'm not. I'm using fucking Kumbuntu eighteen oh four LTS. And they, they got a solution. They got a solution uh, to a known issue to make the game work out of the box with Steam. No love, no joy. Do not pass go on this. Uh, but if you go to the web zone, download a patch client. And that supposedly works until it doesn't. Then you wait for them to upload another one. And maybe that one supposedly works. The launcher itself, the big hang up I saw was compiled against QT571, which is also bugged on high, di- high DPI display, uh, displays, English fan. Uh, if they'd compiled against 5.9x, uh, I kind of would have sort that. But this is a known issue with 18.04. They're aware of it. And their response is, eh, shrug. Like, it might get fixed. It might not. I really wanted to give this the Pepsi challenge. So I downloaded the web client. I'm good like that. Uh, it wanted a key. It's like, hey, give me a key. I was like, no, I got, I got the game on Steam. I, I got it. Let me link that. And I was like, oh, fuck no. You can't do that. So I was at the 60 plus minute mark of trying to launch the damn game, which I failed to do. Didn't happen. And I tried everything I possibly could because I wanted to play this damn thing. Um, now, I will say this in their defense because I want to be fair. It clearly says on their web zone on Steam, 1404 and 1604 LTS 64-bit or Steam OS is supported. Other distributions may work, but not officially supported. So, yeah, I I genuinely couldn't play it. And once I figure out a few minutes to do the refund system, Pennywise, I'm going to hook you back up with that copy because I can't really do anything with it. But I do thank you. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, well, I ran into the same issue that Ven did, and the solution of downloading the patch client did not work. I still ran into that QT bug you, where you just can't click on anything. Mm-hmm. However, a flat pack version of this game does exist, and that works. Unfortunately, like Ven mentioned, the Steam version and the paid version have different licenses, so you cannot transfer accounts from things bought on Steam to things bought in the standalone copy. So, I because I love you guys, I, I went and blew 40 bucks and I bought this game a second time. I too will also return the thing to Pennywise because he deserves his money back. And um, if you launch it from uh, Flatpak, it does work. You can play the game. I played it for about for a couple hours. Uh, yeah, I'll be an online guys. If you're going to, high DPI displays are not too uncommon nowadays, so you should maybe maybe look at uh, some better support for that, Pedro. Yeah, so I think I'm actually going to keep the copy that Pennywise bought me because over here in Solus Land, it worked out of the box. 
it uh, it holds 60 FERPs at UHD. Uh, when I started the Steam version, it's like, oh, did you have an old account? Yes, I did. Well, put in your email address. Okay, now put in your password. That took a couple of tries, but oh, look, there's my old character. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, uh, it worked just fine for me, so I, I'm going to keep it. All right, well, that's that's two cheers for a mix with the working uh, shiny and sounds. I'm just going to skip Ben because he didn't actually play the game. <laughs> mm-hmm. he, he tried. He spent an hour and it didn't work. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. To me, these are like some mid-2000s ass MMO sprites. I mean, things look distinct enough. I can tell the different types of trees apart, so John Cleese is very, very proud of my ass. Uh, there, there, there's definitely some music there. Uh, do I care about it? No, it didn't do. It wasn't good or bad enough to leave any sort of impression. While I sort of drifted into the back of my fugue state while trying to enjoy this game, but I'll save that little bit for later. Pedro, how, how, yeah, how do you think it looks? Uh, you know, low poly, cell shaded graphics. Uh, the music is uh, totally with you on that one, Jordan. It's sparse and non-intrusive. It's absolutely forgettable. But when you do hear it and you start paying attention to it, it fits. So that's good. Uh, if I had to pick at the nits, I'd say it's hard to tell things apart, especially shops, because all the stores are a combination of brown and gray. And in when you get into an actual melee or you get into a party with other players, you will lose track of your character, regardless of what you're doing. And enemies have this nasty tendency of running up to you and occupying the same physical space as your character. Uh, so it's it's got issues, but all in all, it's not terrible. <laughs> All right, well, that's uh, that's two chairs for the shiny and sounds controls. I mean, let's let's be real. It's like a Diablo point and clicky thing, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it's, I, I, uh, I, the, the mouse worked very well as I was trying to get it to launch. <laughs> well, apparently it didn't because you can click on that lock in button. Well, this is true. Okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But like the the I, I I don't know right the Pedro I think you and I are of a mind that the the lack of rotatable camera is a bit confusing let's say yes because this is all three D it's it's Unity you know that the rotating camera is a default option Do, why can't we have that <laughs> yeah it, it it's really fun too when you like I'm gonna walk south and then I mm-hmm. enter from the east and I'm like where, <laughs> where am I I'm so, I'm so confused I don't know what's happening. Yeah, uh, I guess the decision of having the fixed camera is they it was a design choice because if you look at the world map, there's the roads and if you go out a certain exit grid, uh, you know that the road even if it turns, let's say you go out to the east and you end up in the south of the new area, it's yeah, it's uh they made that so it would be I'm guessing easy for you to find your way around and easy it's to not, memorize. Though. It's not. I was constantly <laughs> checking the map because I'm like, wait, am I going in the right direction? Did I, did I map a left to an up? <laughs> it it was for me. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> may vary. The, 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 other, the other issue I had with this game, um, pathfinding can eat a bag of dicks. Your character will get stuck on the most random things and be like, I'm trying to walk through it. I can't do it. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna face through walls. I have the yeah, power. Yeah, it's never Winter Knight's level of pathfinding, right there. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, I had. To, you, ever, you ever see that movie, The Men Who Stare at Goats? I had one of those <laughs> moments. Uh, okay, well, that's that's two chairs for control. Uh, I, you know what, I, Pedro, Pedro, you can go through your spiel because you have more positive things to say about this game than I do. Yeah, I'm the only one who has positive things to say. Um, So, it's an MMO. It's uh, from the RuneScape school of MMOs. Uh, But unlike that that bit of inspiration that it very much wears on its sleeve, it's not boring as all fuck. Quite the opposite. Uh, Don't get me wrong, it's not the best MMO out there by any means or measure. Uh, That's never winter online for me specifically, but... uh, if it weren't for the over-reliance on the crafting and basically ensuring you have to fucking do the menial fucking chores to get better loot, this would actually be a very good MMO. As it is, it's good, 
but there's enough grinding going on here to make the average nightclub look like you know it's it's a place where you go to have respect for your personal space <laughs> okay okay sure that's a that's that's a thing you can say about it. Yeah, see, I I, I was I was just getting into the computers uh, when RuneScape was a thing back when it was like mm-hmm. a Java browser game, and I never got into it back in the day. I had a lot of friends who played it, and they seemed to like it, and they were like really engaged with the mechanics and whatnot. But I I just really couldn't grok it, and I don't think age has really improved my ability to do so. Um, I mean, what you run around, you gather resources, you kill villagers, you fulfill quotas <laughs> to unlock things so you could kill more things to fulfill quotas to unlock other things to unlock abilities to get more gear. It's it's a grind fest. And you know what? I'm I can be down for a grind fest um, that uh, Battle Chasers Nice War thing is probably going to devolve into a grind fest. I'm into it because uh, you need to you need to be doing the right thing, like having ho- diving through horrible dungeon after horrible dungeon or making cute like monsters fight for my amusement. You got to you got to give me something right. Yeah, uh, this this game does not either. You select a thing and then you wait. And sometimes if you get into fights, you get select a thing and then you wait. And sometimes you press a button because you need to activate an ability and then you press another button to activate another ability and wait for it to cool down and so on and so forth. There isn't really much here to get me invested. I don't think if you're into <laughs> Well, if you're not into RuneScape MMOs, this is not one of those games that will change your mind. The one MMO I actually kind of really got into was EVE Online. Not even for the spreadsheet thing. It was just because I was in a spaceship and I could fly around. And that was cool. That ticked off that part of my brain where I could just grind there and still be engaged. This does not have any of that. So between Ven and me giving it one share for the fun and Pedro giving it three, this totals out to... um, one share for fun and one share total. Uh, the game doesn't really um, work. It has it. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it has issues. Um, maybe maybe they'll fix it. Maybe they won't. Compiling against an old version of QT maybe wasn't the best idea in the world. I think one of the things to look at is this: there seems to be a disconnect between the team releasing patched clients to download from their web zone versus whoever is in charge of the steam account maybe they just forget their steam login i don't know or or i I think maybe there's also like there's a clearance process to get your shit uploaded to steam and maybe they don't want to do that over and over and over again it's steam we're talking about clearance process is a hundred bucks up front Hmm. (laughs) listen man if if you're you're paying 49.99 for access to this game a hundred (laughs) dollars is expensive but this game if Ven and Jordan uh, hadn't had as many issues with it just outright not working. It could have been, you know, it could have gotten gotten two chairs. Mm -hmm. It could have gotten certainly a better score than it did. I didn't run into those issues and I actually managed to enjoy it a little bit. I didn't enjoy RuneScape when I played it, but this one I very much did. There's it's grindy, but I liked it. I think one of the things they absolutely just need to fix regardless is if somebody fucking buys this on Steam, there needs to be a system, an easy system, to get that shit plugged in to the downloadable mm-hmm. copy. So the, they, they have an entire forum thread about this, because I was looking into it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, this, is, this is like, lots of games are doing it. This is an intentional design decision. Too bad. This is how we're running our game. Hmm. That that was yep. that was the that was the specific bit of feedback from the developers. So uh, they're they're also asshats outside of being not being able to code their way out of a fucking wet paper. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, it's a Unity game that doesn't work on two out of three distributions we test on <laughs> on this show. So Good make job, guys. that what you will. <laughs>